In this lesson, we're going to talk about getting your dog started on walking without the leash. And then of course you can add the leash as we go. One of the hardest things for owners um, when the dogs start walking outside and you know when you take them walks and going places to the bed and things like that is your dogs pulling on a leash. And then some dogs are completely opposite where they um, you're having to drag them. And so we don't want either. And so I'm going to show you today what to do with your puppies before they're done with their vaccinations because you're going to do this in the house and you're going to do this um, um, in your own backyard before you go anywhere else. So the first thing that you're going to do, and I'm going to scoot back a little bit so that you can see me. The first thing that you're going to do, and I'm going to put this toy away because she thinks I'm going to play, play with her. is I'm going to reward her for just being over here with me. Come here, here, here we go, come here, come here. Thank you. I'm just gonna spin her around, I'm gonna click, and just feed her by my side while she is lined up the same di uh, direction. And if you saw what I did, get it. If you saw what I did is I just took this cookie that's in my hand and I swung her around onto my side. Um, when it comes to loose leash walking, I really don't care which side that I'm taking my dog. So again, I'm going to take this cookie, Reba. I'm just going to swing it around and bring her right here. And I'm going to click and I'm just going to feed her in place right there. And if she comes back to in front of me, I'm just going to lure her back into that position. Back to the side of me. And I'm just going to feed just like that. And so that's your step one. Step two is you want to mark it and walk. So if you don't have your clicker charged yet, you can also use a word such as good. I like the clicker though, because you're going to be using it a lot in class. So I'm going to get her back on my side again. So I'm going to bring her over here and I'm going to click and feed, click and feed, click and feed, just like this as I'm walking. So what she's, what she's learning is that being by my side is rewarding and I can get her moving at the same time. So I'm going to go crosswise this way so you can actually, I'm going to start over here. So you can see her on my left. Come here. Thank you. Get her back in that position. I'm gonna click and feed. Whoop. And then of course I drop the cookies, but she picked them up. So this is what you're gonna do is you're just gonna have your dog follow along with you and you're gonna click and feed. Now, if your puppy's about this short, clicking and feeding is gonna be work because you're gonna be bending. So I'm gonna show you my target sticks. This is called a lollipop target stick. And you can get this on Karen Pryor Academy. It's in her store. I think they're $12 now. They used to be 10, but like everything else, it's gone up. It is acrylic, so if you drop it, it's not gonna break. Um, they have the extendable ones that look like uh, radio antennas, but the, <laughs> hold on a second. My dog's trying to get the toy out of the back of me. Um, and they're extendable, but what happened, just like the radio antennas when you were growing up, they, they break really easy and the balls come off and we don't want the dogs um, choking on them or anything. The other thing that you can use is a long handled wooden spoon or plastic spoon. And so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wipe some cream cheese. I use cream cheese and not peanut butter. And so as you're rewarding it, click and reward, click and reward. You don't wanna just leave it here and drag them like this. You want it to be a reward system so that they're looking in front of them. So it's click and reward, click and reward, click and reward, just like that. If they're too short so that you're not breaking, you're not breaking your back. Yes, I see you have a toy. So from there, we're gonna graduate to letting them drag a leash if they haven't been on a leash yet. So I'm gonna show you that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my leash on my dog. Um, most of you probably either have harnesses or a, a collar and leash. We're gonna talk about um, what's a good way, what, which way is the best um, for your dog, whether you wanna put them on a collar or a harness in a different lesson. Reba, here, Reba, here. So Reba, hey, girlfriend, I know you found a goodie. So instead of walking her and fighting with the leash, I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I just did a second ago, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let her drag the leash just like this. So I'm gonna get her in her position and I'm gonna click and feed, click and feed, click and feed, just like this. Just 
like that. So that would lead into you being able to hold the leash. And when I hold the leash, I'm going to hold it in my hand like this. I do not wrap it around my arm. I don't do anything like that. A leash is just a protection for your dog so that they don't run off at something or whatever else. And so if you have a six foot leash and you're always wrapping it around your arm, then you bought too long of a leash. So hand like this, that makes it easy. If she crosses behind me, I can easily do this and I don't get all tied up and I don't have to play this dance thing with the leash because I'm holding it just like this. So again, I'm gonna get my cookies out. All right, you ready to try this again? Okay, here. Now I'm gonna treat less because she's walking really good, okay? So we're gonna click, click and treat. So as you saw, the more you practice, the less click and treat and they're still walking with you. This is a great pre-exercising before you start walking your dog in public or stores or the vets and it lets them know that they're going to get rewarded right beside you and they don't understand the whole leash walking thing now anyways and pulling in front of you. So give it a try, it's a lot of fun.